Ray Gowdy unloads on Deputy A.G., teaches him the meaning of interest-free counsels. If you want to get to the bottom of a scandal, send in Thray Gowdy. The fiery congressman from South Carolina has a well-earned reputation as somebody who can cut through the bull, well, the manure, and get right to the core of the problem. That's exactly what he did this week, after it was revealed that a key investigator involved in both the Hillary Clinton and now Donald Trump investigations had an incredibly strong anti-Trump personal bias. Gowdy cornered Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein during a hearing Wednesday in the House Judiciary Committee, and unloaded with both barrels. The former prosecutor, sometimes known as Bulldog, demanded to know how he was supposed to explain the latest bombshell to his constituents in South Carolina. They're going to ask me, what in the hell is going on with the Department of Justice and the FBI? The reason we have special counsel is because of a conflict of interest. Gowdy explained. The regulation itself specifically makes reference to conflict of interest. With that said, the lawmaker then went through the list of glaring problems with the figures at the heart of the investigation. One of those is Special Agent Peter Stursog, a man who was recently revealed to have sent Trump hating text messages to his mistress, who is also a lawyer with the FBI. Those who are supposed to make sure there are no conflicts of interest seem to have a few of their own. Gowdy exploded. We have prosecutors assigned to conduct this investigation, who donated almost exclusively to one candidate over another. And then we have a prosecutor assigned to this conflict of interest free team, that attended. What was supposed to be a victory party for Secretary Clinton? Gowdy moved down the list, which seemed to contain an endless account of bias and improprieties inside the Department of Justice. We have a senior agent assigned to investigate Secretary Clinton's email, help draft the exoneration letter, interviewed Secretary Clinton, interviewed Michael Flynn, was actively involved in the investigation of the Trump campaign before the Inspector General found his texts, Gowdy continued. Gowdy pointed out that this agent was not just a random person, but a central figure in both the exoneration of Hillary Clinton and the current investigation of unproven collusion between Trump and Russia. So this agent in the middle of almost everything related to Secretary Clinton and President Trump, sent pro-Clinton texts, anti-Trump texts, Gowdy said. Gowdy then dug into specific texts that the senior investigator was caught sending, and tore them apart in his well-known blunt fashion. And then he said Hillary Clinton should win 100 million to nothing. Now think about that, Mr. Deputy Attorney General, Gowdy said. That's a pretty overwhelming victory. 100 million to zero. This conflict of interest free senior agent at the FBI can't think of a single solitary American who would vote for Donald Trump. Not a single solitary American he can imagine would vote for Donald Trump, Gowdy said. The anti-Trump comments sent by this supposedly unbiased investigator only go downhill from there. And then he went on to belittle Trump supporters by saying he could smell them at a Walmart in Virginia, Gowdy pointed out. This is the person we needed to avoid a conflict of interest. But he wasn't content to just disparage Donald Trump, he had to disparage Donald Trump's family. This is what he said, the douchebags are about to come out. He's talking about our first lady and children. This conflict of interest free special agent of the FBI. Maybe the FBI needs ask somebody to explain what the phrase conflict of interest actually means. And then if that's not enough, he says Trump is an effing idiot. What the F just happened to our country, Gowdy read from the list of text messages. Gowdy stared down the deputy attorney general and asked one final question. How would you help me answer that question when I go back to South Carolina this weekend? America deserved a straight answer. Instead, Rosenstein offered weak promises. What I recommend you tell your constituents is that Robert Mueller, Rod Rosenstein, and Chris Ray are accountable, and that we will ensure no bias is reflected, he nervously responded. The damage has already been done. Trust is almost impossible to restore after it has been broken. And empty promises don't explain how this was allowed to happen in the first place. Please press share on Facebook to spread this epic Gaudi video.